Integrity 360 Mark II. This is a second owner boat and in amazing condition. The uh, difference between this 360 and the earlier versions 350 Mark II is that the fact you can have camping covers. Good size cockpit. Two uh, storage can be ice bins under the stairs and up to the flybridge. Right through there. The other advantage of the 360 is that you can close the walkways with these, these screens. And then we walk into the saloon. Again, the very open saloon and galley compared to the earlier versions. Uh, and we've got fridge, drawers, garbage bin, stainless steel sink with a lid, a storage component, two burner hob, under the seat here is an ice chest, ice bin, dedicated ice bin, self draining, uh, obviously powered by John Deere, this set saloon seating turns into a, another bed, Moving that, you've got quite a wide bed. Enough for a big person. More storage under the helm. More storage under the seating. And Another nice feature of the 360 is this high storage running around the roof. This is just a normal convection microwave, sorry, not convection, it's just an inverter microwave. <coughs> we have the TV, which has a DVD player and built into the stereo system. Air conditioning. Fusion stereo, iPod docking, phone docking. Its name is Sovereign. It's our max numbers. Okay. On here we have a depth unit, engine controls. Autopilot, chain counter with remote up and down, a hybrid touch 12 inch plotter, we've got another anchor up and down, horn, wipers, washers, and the twin bow and stern thruster. There's our gear and throttle control. So we've got fuel gauge and water tank. Also, a 12 volt DC outlet. Recent addition is this uh, battery management, which tells you what the inverter is doing and also the uh, battery charger. In this top panel here, we have our DC power. And on the lower one, we have our 240, our AC power controls. With shore power, 
an Onan generator, which uh, has just recently been replaced for a brand new unit. Uh, And down the stairs into the forward cabin with sideboard with drawer and a cupboard and overhead hatch with a fly screen. All the windows have fly screens on it. In fact, all the doorways have fly screens as well. And you've got a, another locker there. There's also, at the bottom here, two shoe lockers. You can open them up. And under the bed is some more drawers. Coming out of the front cabin. And I'll have a quick look into what is a very messy second cabin sorry for that uh, it's a good size double bed but we tell by the size of the chairs okay under the stairway we have our manual bilge pump uh, it comes with three bilge electric bilge and they are their battery controls as well into the toilet shower the combo unit uh, an electric toilet with a digital gauge um, shower the overhead rows and a mirror let's see There's a Y valve there for the holding of waste on board or discharging it directly overboard. Okay. Walking back up into the saloon. And we'll venture up onto the flybridge. single helm, it's got these very nice chairs and lounges with small tables. It means that the helmsman is not on their own. And you have the advantage of two helms. Again, repeated up here is everything that's down below. Horns, engine controls, bow and stern thruster, depth, autopilot, fusion stereo. Um, this boat is also fitted with a searchlight and it's a view down to your foredeck from your flybridge. So you can see that it's in beautiful condition. It's been well looked after. Uh, there is some outside seating. Um, it has fishing rod holders and the likes. I hope you enjoy.